Hey guys, uh, it's your boy Mike here. Um, I just got through watching the Black Panther movie and I wanted to add my little uh, two cents on it. Um, after watching for a month, African Americans just being so proud of this movie and going out, I have to agree with uh, my brother, the American investor show. I think that um, it's very dangerous because um, a lot of us, we haven't been to these countries and um, we don't know how the reaction is of those people in the theater, you know, to the character of Killmonger in the Black Panther. Um, before I had saw the movie, I had heard about the scene where he was talking about dying and the like he wanted to die honorable death the uh, killmonger um like those of the ancestors that jumped off of slave ships rather than be in captivity and such uh something like that um i think that african people can't relate people that have never left africa can't relate to that and it might have went over some people's head um if that's not their story you know if it's, if it's your story it's not as dear to me as it is to you because they can't relate um, being somebody like myself I spent a lot of time um, like six years almost living in Ghana and those people have told me stuff like well you know uh, you guys are really lucky African Americans you guys are really lucky that you have uh, American citizenship and because of slavery you guys are, are better off than us people really think like this but we don't understand that so come back to the movie and um, the actual movie someone told me that in the theater in Ghana when they were watching Black Panther, all the Ghanaians started laughing when Killmonger died. So it was just, it was very, I don't know. The person that told me this was white and um, it was just confusing to them. But to me, it just made perfect sense after all of what I've heard. You know, uh, people just, uh, they don't really know know us. We don't come to Ghana. We don't come to Africa. You know, we don't uh, invest in these guys. We don't give them jobs. We don't come and give them uh, capital to start their businesses. We don't do any of that. We don't come and give them infrastructure. We don't come and give them uh, in their minds. This is how they think. And um, and this movie doesn't show us coming to Africa doing that either. So. I think it further adds on to the dilemma and what um, African American people are pushing towards um, these days. I mean, I've heard what people have been saying and I haven't even been in the country, but uh, it, it really hurts that agenda, you know, to be, uh, to be there or be here with the African people on the continent. So. The thing that we need to address is we have to be on the continent together. And with this movie, we don't see each other coexisting on the continent together. And that's a whole nother movie if somebody want to make it. But uh, we need to see it and we need to believe it and we need to know that it's possible. Because that whole CIA trained a uh, guy comes into countries and destroys them. This Killmonger character, man, is very dangerous. And if people know their history about Liberia and the African American colonies in Liberia, or where is it? Yeah, Liberia. Um, in Africa, where the CIA has implanted uh, agents or work to overthrow the government secretly. There was all these coups in the 60s, and um, it, it appeared to be the African people, but later on in like the 80s or so, uh, there's like these Americans that are like confessing that, okay, yeah, we organized those overthrow, throwing of uh, 
those African presidents. It happened in Ghana. Uh, I, I know there's a few other countries. Even in Europe, they say they've done it to those small European countries, the Euro-Asian countries and stuff like that. And they're just, those, those countries were on their way to somewhere successful and now they're uh, dependent on USA. So, I mean, these things are things you need to think about uh, as a person who's not a, inside the movie theater. You know, when you leave the movie theater, you just realize that it's a movie. I'm talking to the Ghanaians, I'm talking to the African Americans. Um, it was a movie. We have real work to do in real life, and we need to build something together, and we need to actually Killmonger and uh, T'Challa, or whatever his name is, uh, they need to be working together. And when you come and meet that man in his home, you need to be, you need to be on point and ready to uh, respect their culture, respect their women, respect their traditions, and work through that system to build something. That's what I wanted to say about the movie, and I hope that somebody got something out of what I'm saying. I'm not going to talk a long time about it, um, but, you know, tribalism is not just in Africa, it's not just, you know, uh, this guy's from this tribe and I'm from this tribe. It's, it's light-skinned, it's black, it's, white, it's uh, African, it's Igbo, Yoruba, it's uh, Bloods, it's Crips. Everything that divides all these people, we could be just like, you look like me, we're in the same situation, why don't we fix it? That's all I have to say.